January 7th, 1848. Hey everybody, welcome back to Aviary Attorney, and this is the Palais de Louvre. Is that the Palace of Love? Get your love on. Uh, the main... Oh, look at that fancy bird. He thinks he's better than me, but he's not. Let's be reasonable, senors. I am sure that this is a simple misunderstanding. Arr, there's no misunderstanding. In the name of the king, arrest that Spaniard. Arr. I just wanted to give him my death rose. A fox among the wolves. Ah, our good friend Sparrowson. I knew Falcon wouldn't feel like turning up on a Friday. I bet he's at TGIF Fridays now. Hmm, probably getting drunk. Hmm. But now it's midday on Monday, and there's still no sign of him. This is becoming a little concerning. There's no TGI Mondays. I tried once to find one. I better go find him. His home would be a good place to start, but the bird brain never gave me his address. Do they not have phone books in the past? Oh, they don't even have phones in the past. I'll just have to find him the hard way. You can do it, Sparrowson. So, where would he be? He's not going to be at the prison, is he? We just left the offices. Uh, the Baron... Rog Why would he be at the Baron's estate? He might be at the Palace of Justice. He's probably got a parking ticket. No sign of Falcon here. Excuse me, Rupert. Oh, it's you! Um, yeah, the first year dropout! Shut up, Rupert, you lost your case! Hey! I didn't drop out! I dropped in! I did some acid! What? I was... I was forcibly ejected! But that doesn't matter right now! I'm looking for Falcon! Have you seen him? Falcon, I... You guys' voices are too similar. Falcon, huh? The guy who um, somehow blundered through the Ca uh, Caroline trial with um, some very dubious evidence? It was dubious enough where we won and you lost, bitch. No, um, I haven't seen him since the um, trial. Hey, well, thank you anyway. Ejected from law school? Let's go to the prison. I can't imagine Falcon would go to the prison. Excuse me, monsieur. I'm looking for my friend. Quack! Do I look like a lost and found you? Buzz off, bird brain! Quack! I eat some bird seed! You think it's gonna grow a tree in me? Because I don't know if I can handle that. Oh dear. All right then. You're not the brightest bird, are you? So we can go back to the offices of the Chateau Crenier with the Baron who was wrongfully imprisoned lived. Maybe Falcon feels bad about it. Excuse me, Mademoiselle Du Hart. Du Hart's Mish. I didn't mean to hit the evidence button. <laughs> what was her voice? Oh, down here, madam. Oh, there you are. Hmm, Sparrowson, right? Let's hope I got the right voice. That is right. You have a very long neck. I bet you could take very long things in your mouth. Like, um, pocky sticks. I heard what about the case you were involved in. I would never have thought the Baron was a murderer. You always treated me with the utmost respect. You say that, Colleen, but you stole from him. But then again, I suppose it makes sense that the most ruthless killers are the ones who put up the best facade. Yes, um, yeah, well, about that, I suppose so. So, um, how's your friend doing? He seemed a little down last night. Oh, you've seen him? Yeah, he was brooding in the corner of Le Canard Joy. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it the Happy Duck or something? Mumbling and drinking. It was a little depressing, to be perfectly honest. Hey, I'm drinking too. I'm just like Falcon. Le Canard Joy, that's the dingy student bar in Rue Chalon, right? It's not dingy. It's a little rusty. Rustic. I said dingy instead of dingy. <laughs> it's not on a little, like, boat. In any case, that's an enormous help. Thank you, mademoiselle. Any time, Sparrowson. The case thickens. 
So we're gonna go to the bar. Need a pick me up? Come along to Madame Quenelle Student Tavern on the Rue Jean Genou. All my French friends or French Canadian friends are gonna be mad at me. Sorry, you're always welcome. Thank you. Sparrowson steps through the doors of Lake Nard Joyeux, the dingiest student tavern in all of Paris. His nostrils fill with the pungent aroma of sour wine and bitter tobacco. What's your voice gonna be? Well, ruffle my feathers if it ain't little Sparrowson. Hey, I ain't seen you in years, son. How you doing, honey McBoober, son? I'm feeling pretty good, madam. Quite now, thank you for asking. I'm actually here to find a friend, a big guy named J.J. Falcon. Falcon? Yeah, sorry that Lump's been here all weekend. Just been moaning and muttering to himself all weekend. Frankly, he's bringing the atmosphere down. I don't take care of him. Thank you, mademoiselle. No problem, honey. He's still in the corner drinking of the drinking room upstairs. So we can... I want to go to the card room. Let's go play cards. Hmm, need someone to play uh, Jacques Noir, are you, monsieur? Not right now. I'm looking for my friend J.J. Falcon. Oh, the big drunk fellow. I spotted him downstairs. Ah, thank you. All right, we'll go to the drinking room. Drinking room sounds like the fun room anyway. Hmm. Falcon? Hmm. No sign of him anywhere. Muncha, I almost stepped on the big fellow. Um, Falcon? What are you doing on the floor? Falcon! Falcon, wake up! Wow, that bird's completely out cold. He must have drunk this place dry. I guess this was a good thing we decided to go look for the guy. He wasn't coming in. Let's see how you wake a drunk person. Hmm. Uh, let us pour his drink on his head since he likes drinks so much. Well, I guess it's time for a rude awakening. Wakey, wakey! Sounds like he's peeing on him, ew. Ah! Ah, why am I... Why is my face all wet again? Ah, good to see you up! Did I pee on my face again? Oh man, I don't even remember how much I had to drink. Are... Are you with us, Falcon? Uh, yeah. As long as you're not a talking elephant. Feeling sober, we should probably head back to the aviary offices so we can get some work done. Uh, uh, uh. I don't understand it, Sparrowson. Huh? I thought we did everything right. I found all the procedures. I found all the evidence. I presented the case beautifully. Beautifully. Not like a common gutter Sparrowson like you, but like a majestic falcon flying through the sky with a mouse in his beak. And yet a guilty feline walks free while an innocent man sits in custody. What went wrong? Where's the justice? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know, Falcon. Sometimes the system just doesn't work, I guess. Uh, that doesn't make me feel better. It should work. Yeah, I guess it probably should. <laughs> Sparrowson, you're the most ambibi ambiguous. I'm making up new words. Ambiguously? What is it? Ambiguously? Morally ambivalent person there is! You're just like, yeah, I guess the court system ought to work. Half of those words I just made up, and half of them were real words. Eh. Uh, sorry, Falcon, I don't have the answers. But what I do have is a freshly baked croissant from Pierre's Bouclerane Gragi Bobby. Croissants? Mmm, croissants. I am so drunk munchies right now. Yes, they're waiting for you back at the Avery. I am sitting here moping about justice, and you offer me croissants? Well, not just any croissants. I've got some pain all chocolates, too. Mm, chocolates? I could go for um, pain in my chocolates. Fantastic! Let us make a move! Quickly! To the headquarters. All right, I admit it, these croissants are amazing. They are delicious on my tongue. It is like a savory young woman. Crunchy and doughy and yeasty. Oh, all of a sudden, I'm having flashbacks I don't want to have. I told you! Pierre's Buglions on Rue for Day is something else. Oh, that reminds me. The baker told me something interesting. Do you know what they call pain au chocolat in America? Uh, they don't call them pains au chocolat? No, pronunciation difficulties. American is a whole nother language. Yeah, it is. Oh, where's my other mouse control? Hell yeah! That American bird is like, I don't got time for your justice system. Give me a gun! 
Sorry, I had to get American to that. So, um, what do they call them then? Chocolate croissant, croissants. Yeah, chocolate croissants. Um, um, uh, hello. Yeah, chocolate croissants. What do they call profiteroles? Oh, I think those are still called profiteroles. But still, uh, but rather than custard, they fill them with ice cream and smother them in el ice uh, melted chocolate. I got too excited about that. Simply outstanding, those Americans. They know how to make everything more delicious. Is this the aviary attorney? Can I speak to someone, please? Uh, what do they call cramps? <laughs> Excuse me! Excuse me! Uh, did you just hear something, Sparrowson? Down here! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. What can I do for you, little one? Oh, gosh, where do I start? Your name, perhaps? Mousy. My name is Mousy. Your parents were really good at naming you. About as good as I am at naming things. When I made my cartoon about a burning cactus, I called it Burning Cactus. Uh, what can we do for you, Monsieur Mousse? I have this friend, and he has fallen under some legal turbulence. Uh, legal turbulence? You mean he's been arrested? Uh, yes, I suppose. They're saying he's a murderer, but he didn't do it. He didn't do it! That is quite a problem, Mr. Mousse. I know. I mean, it's like... Of course it's a problem. Like, you don't want to be in jail, do you? Oh, I forgot to mention, he's kind of like the Prince of Spain. The Prince of Spain? Insane in the Spain brain. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain sparrows, and did you know that? Uh, you didn't think this was worth mentioning from the start? Oh, I forgot, I forgot. I don't look at him as a prince, I look at him as a friend. I must ask, Mousy, why did you come to us? I would have thought with the Spanish royal family, uh, with their money, they would hire legal counsel with a little more, uh... Um, not terribleness? Sparrowson! We are an excellent place that accidentally gets criminals off. And not in a naughty way, Sparrowson. Get your mind out of the gutter. Expertise? Oh, um, the prince has great faith in your lawyering skills, Monsieur Falcon. He said your reputation as a lawyer was renowned. Um, really? The prince said that? Here, I didn't know. Wow. This is a great opportunity, Falcon. Surely you won't deny a request from the Prince of Spain. Uh, of course we'll take the case. We need all the money we can get. And maybe a chance to finally redeem ourselves. Of course we'll take the case. Grab your coat, Sparrowson. We have a royalty to defend. That's the spirit? Good luck to you, Messrs. Are you, aren't you coming with us, Mousy? I don't even know you. That's a forward question. I am... Um, I have, like, other matters to attend to. But Prince Juan is being held in the concierge. I'm sure he will fill in all the details. All right, let us make a move, then. Quickly, to the prison! Good day, monster. Oh! Shoot you again! A tree didn't bur grow in my belly! You lied, Sparrow said! Nice work on the kitten lady's trial! Baron Rogo is pacing around the cell right now! Ranting about raking your neck! Oh crap! The Baron wants to murder us! Yeah, I'm not surprised about that! He's super mad! Like, really mad! But hey, a criminal's a criminal, right? Rob! If the lion didn't want a death sentence, probably should have killed the guy! You're not here to defend him, are ya? Cause that'd be, like, hilarious! It would be funny, Quack. Actually, we're here to see Prince Juan Querido, heir to the throne of Spain. Oh, the mouthy fox, huh? That guy's driving me nuts with his seniors and his flamboyant allergy. Bark! Why can't he be French like us? Ah, I say the sooner he hangs, the better. You are a horrible person. <laughs> You're like, this person annoys me. He should die. Come on, then. Bark! Well, we're young. A little late for you now, Quark. Uh, the Prince of Spain, I presume? Ah! <laughs> I, I don't know how I balanced the audio for y'all, but in my ears that was way louder than all the other noises and music in the game. Indeed, I am one, Cuadrido, uh, heir to the throne of España. You must be the legendary lawyer, Senor J.J. Falcon. Uh, well, I want to say I'm legendary. Uh, I, I, I once read a book about myself. I lied. I tried to write myself a book. I lied. I I saw a book once. I 
wouldn't even say that you were notable, or he is. Such humility, I would expect nothing less from the renowned individuals such as yourselves. But let us get down to business. Oh, oh, I'm sorry this prison food has me down. I trust that my companion Nero must explain the situation. Uh, he told us you've been accused of murder, but we need some further details before we can start our investigation. Oh, of course. What is it you wanted to know? Uh, what were you reading before when you were rudely interrupted? I like books. They're good for toilet paper. Ah, uh, this book, it is the Spanish classic, Don Quixote of La Mancha. Do you know it? I think Falcon, I don't know if he's actually read it, but I think Falcon would be bullshit enough to be like, of course I've read The Man of La Mancha. I've read it. It's a strange story. I don't know whether I'm supposed to be laughing or crying over the hero's misadventures. And are they really windmills or are they giants? Indeed, it is easy to read the book as a comedy, but when I look around, I can't help but see all the people who think of themselves as knights. I have no idea what the two of you are prattling on about. Not a book lover, Senor Pesperdo son? I dabble. I have a pop up book once, but it was too scary. I'd be like you opened it up and there was a tree. I had to put it away. Mm. It's just most of my reading material, you know, tends to be on the lighter side. Nice and pulpy. Ladies with big bosoms, you see. Oh, my. I see. Well, how about this, Senor Sparrowson? I will lend you this book. Maybe you have a chance to read it, and then you'll be able to join in on our conversation. Well, you're very nice. Like, what else are you going to do in the prison? Are you giving away your only reading material? Thank you. I'll keep it in my bathroom for toilet reading material, of course. El Ingicio Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha has been added to your evidence folder. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Hmm. Tell us about... No, let's ask about why he was in Paris. Why did you come to Paris, Prince Juan? I want to know. <laughs> oh, want to know. I get it. I was on a diplomatic mission. I do not know whether you are familiar with current events, but you may have heard that my country is in a state of turmoil. Spain have a civil war unrest? No, that could have never happened. Contenders for the Spanish throne are slandering, plotting, and backstabbing. It is chaos, and the people are suffering. Oh, he's kind of dreamy that he keeps his shirt open. Sparrowson, listen to his words. His eyes are up there. So I thought if I can befriend some French royalty, perhaps even the king himself, maybe I could strengthen the, my family's name. With the Corrido dynasty restored, I could have a chance at bringing peace to my beautiful nation. Ah! Well, I guess that plan's gone out of the window. Sparrowson, do not be rude. No, he is right. I have failed terribly. Don't fret, Prince Juan. We'll do everything in our power to clear your name. Maybe once the dust has settled, you will have another opportunity to speak with King Louis Philippe and complete your mission. Thank you, Senor Falcon. I will do my best, and I am sure you will do your best as well. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Don't ask where I poop. It's in the corner over there. I had a lot to eat before I got in prison. Don't judge. To be honest, Prince Juan, I am a little confused as how a member of the royalty could get into so much trouble. Really, Falcon? Really? As if royalty has never gotten into trouble before? Can you walk us through your activities on the day of the matter? Oh, of course, let me see where to begin, where to begin. This is where I should have a note, or a piece of paper and a pencil for taking notes. It was a cold and misty morning on the 6th of January. I once saw a stripper named Misty Mornings. Not now. Wait, was it misty? Oh, it was very misty. It was more like wet mornings. Sparrowson, I, I don't know whether to applaud you or slap you. I heard that King Louis Philippe was unveiling a new painting at the Place de Louvre, and I wished to meet the man himself. So after a brief stroll and a picnic in the Tuileries Garden, I entered the palace. I found the royal entourage in the Louvre's Grand Gallery, and when I saw an opportunity, I presented but a humble gift to the king. A rose, an international symbol of passion and virtue. How romantic! Do you think they were going to make out? Sparrowson, do you mind? I am listening to his story. And now I can't stop thinking of him making out with the king. Me too. But before the king could take it, a rather rude person snatched it from my fingers. It was the royal guard, a dog by the name of Major Howell. That is a pretty badass name. 
Ouch, cried Major Howell. I pricked myself upon the thrones, the thorns of this dastardly flower. And then the Major slumped to the floor. His face, it turned blue. His mouth frothed, and he died. Maybe he had rabies. He died straight away after being pricked? Straight away, senor. It's obvious that the pricked finger was the cause of death, but I don't know of any poison that acts so fast. Then how do you know it's obvious it was a pricked finger? How do you know it wasn't a coincidence? Nor do I, Senor Falcon, but clearly the police felt the poison upon the rose thorns was only the only logical explanation. There were so many witnesses, even the king himself. What could I say to defend myself? So where did this rose come from? Probably a rose bush. I acquired it from a beautiful Parisian flower seller at Le Halle's Market, a girl by the name of Catherine Marie Signy. But surely you're not suggesting that the flower girl applied the po poison herself, Senor Falcon? Maybe she hated you, Prince Juan. Maybe she hates her job as a flower seller. Well, I'm not making any accusations yet. I am planning to explore every line of inquiry, though. Poison Rose has been added to our evidence folder. Did you want to ask something else, Senor Falcon? No, I think that's everything. Uh, thank you. Hey, what's the plan, Big Bud? Well, we have two lines of inquiry, Sparrowson. We could head to the scene of the crime, the Palais du Love, and see if we can find any witnesses or clues. And we should interview the flower girl in Lohal's market to see if she has anything to say about this alleged poisoned rose. Two tasks spread over six days? This sounds almost too easy! I know, Sparrowson. That's why I'm worried. Six days, some shit's gonna go down. Let us not get complacent. Good luck, seniors. Wait a minute, Falcon. Uh, what is it? Did something seem off about Prince Juan to you? Uh, he seemed really nice. Is that wrong? I don't know what you're insinuating. He seemed like a splendid and charming fellow to me. Oh, what, really? I m maybe I misread him. Well, look, if it is bothering you, then we could always ask him around. Maybe someone in the city knows Juan's dirty secret. Maybe he pooped himself. If he actually has anything to hide, that is. Yeah, um, let's dig up some dirt. But we've got a trial to prepare for our priority, Sparrowson. I don't know why Sparrowson thinks there's something wrong with him. He's just judging him because he's a fox. Prejudice. All right, everybody, that's the end of this episode. So we've got six days. We know some other stuff is going to turn up when we've got that much time between this um, inquiry and the trial. Somebody's been murdered. The Prince of Spain has been accused wrongly or maybe correctly. Who knows? I'll see you all hopefully in the next episode as we try and figure out the mystery of the Poisoned Rose.